Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, I have got a Hobbycraft haul. My first ever time placing an order of Hobbycraft. I've never been into any of their stores. Kind of kicking myself right now because they've got so many good deals and so many lovely items I could have spent a fortune. But I have only got a few bits to show you today. So I'm going to jump straight in. I hope you all enjoy the video. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the first item that I bought. It's a shadow box frame. And this is sort of the main reason why I placed an order of Hobbygraph because I was looking for one of these on like eBay and Amazon thinking that that would be the cheapest place to go but I was looking at at least £15 upwards towards £20 for one and I wasn't happy to pay that so I'd done a search on Google and Hobbycraft popped up and they happened to be having a sale on them so I ended up spending an hour on there looking through all their stuff and I was very happy with this one, it's a 30cm by 30cm and 3cm depth as you can see there in a nice grey frame. They had them in loads of different colours and loads of different sizes. This one only cost me £5.50 which is obviously so much better than spending £15 to £20 on one and I just couldn't resist so yeah I'm very happy with my purchase and I've got this to display my favourite like nail art sets in there yeah this is what this is going to be and I'm absolutely made up with it and can't wait to start displaying bits in there but yeah £5.50 I'm really 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 happy with it and then I've got this beautiful ring binder I love it it's sort of got like a gradient effect to it like ombre so it sort of goes from blue to purple to pink and it is in the clearance section I've been wanting a new one for a while that wasn't like that when I got it, it's just having children around, it managed to get a bit broken already, but it's okay. But I wanted one for my foils, so I have already put all my foils in here, as you can see. But I've been wanting a decent way to store my foils quite a while, I've tried loads of different methods, and I already have a, a binder for all my glitter bags that I have, and it's just the best way I've found to store in a mall, and all my pots of glitter I transfer into bags and put into my folder. So I figured I'd do the same thing for my foils, so I've brought some trading card sleeves and this binder because it was really pretty and it was in the clearance section. And yeah, I've now got a better way of storing my foils because I've tried all sorts and nothing's really worked out for me. But I'm sure this could be the best solution and I'm really, really happy with it and it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. So yeah, very happy with that one. And then I've got these stackable cups. I recently won some of these from Just Joe Nail Addicts giveaway and they have come in so useful, I really like them, I've been storing all like little gems and caviar beads and little like crushed shells and stuff inside of them and I've just found them really 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 useful and I really love them so I found some more of them on Hobbycraft. I did want the larger ones but unfortunately they're out of stock so I've just got the medium sized ones. But they come in like stacks of four, stacks of five, in different sizes. And yeah, they're just so useful. As you can sort of see there, how they sort of work. I'm sorry if my camera keeps going out of focus. I think it's because I'm not by my light today. So my camera is struggling a bit more than normal. But yeah, I'm absolutely made up with these. I think they're absolutely brilliant and so useful. I don't know if these ones are going to fit onto the ones that I got from Joe. But at least now I know where to get some more so I can just stack them up when I want to. And yeah, they're just ridiculously useful, not just for nail stuff, but for anything. It keeps it all safe, keeps them all together, and yeah, I absolutely love them. And then I've got these, they're just like little plastic storage tubs, but they are relatively good size. They've got little screw-on lids on them, and there's three there, and they only cost a pound. And again, for all my nail stuff and all my little knickknacks, I thought they were coming really useful. So for a pound, I definitely had to grab some of them, and yeah, I just think they're really, really, really good size, as you can see there be absolutely ideal for storing stuff in. They had loads of little jars and stuff, you can get glass ones, plastic ones, all different shapes and sizes and all at a really good price too so yeah I'll definitely be buying some more of them in the future. And then I've got one of these which I find really useful as well, it only cost me £1.50 but they're, again they're just really useful and they've got the little separators in them that you can also take out if you want to but I just find them really 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 handy for all sorts. They just sort of have like that little sort of latchy bit on there. And yeah, you can literally just take out the separators like that if you choose to, pop them back in. But yeah, they're really handy. And they, again, they had loads of different sizes of them. 
I only picked up one because I don't really feel like I need more at the moment but for the price like I know that if I do need more in the future I'll definitely be going back to Hobbycraft for them because it was really 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 there was such a great variety and they're such a good price and you just can't really go wrong they feel like they're good quality as well it doesn't feel like it's going to break easily it's nice thick plastic so very 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 happy and then on to the pretty things I got some of these I'm I saw some of these on Glitter Sparkle Nail Designs channel. I was watching some of her older videos and I think she posted a Hobbycraft video probably about a year ago now and she showed these and I just thought they are absolutely adorable and they'll be so cute for like some baby shower nails or something like that. You've just got so many cute little feet and they come in like purple, green, pink, yellow and blue. You've also got some like dots in there and some like large strands. And it comes in a 14 gram bag and it's only a pound as well so I thought I could encapsulate them in some acrylic and they'd look really 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 cute or some like baby themed nails or I don't know I know they're confetti but I just thought they would look good and enca encapsulated in some acrylic and I really really love them so I had to grab them especially for a pound you get so many in there and then we've got these also, which I was actually hoping that they were going to be a bit smaller than what they are. But it's just a mixture of like metallic balloons with some little wiggly things. Again, they come in a 14 gram bag and for a pound again. They are quite big, but even if I don't use them for nails, they're going to come in useful for something. Whether it's making someone a card or putting them into balloons or a table confetti or whatever. I just thought for a pound they're useful. I might potentially be able to use them on some nails, maybe if they're like quite long acrylic nails then maybe I can encapsulate them, but yeah I thought for a pound they're worth grabbing, and so many different colours. And then I got these which I thought were adorable, I think they're made for like weddings, but they're just super cute, they've just got like little lovey dovey words all over them, in love heart shapes, and they come in sort of larger ones and smaller ones, again they are still quite big but because they're made out of paper I could easily chop them down. And again, I thought they were just so really cute and captured on a nail. And I just thought they were really fun. So I couldn't resist grabbing some of them as well. They're just super cute, as you can see. I just love them. I had to have them. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got these foil flakes. This comes in a 100ml tub. And, like, I've already got some foil flakes, but, like, in really, really, really small tubs. So I saw these and I just thought I had to grab them and you get two different colours. I sort of went for the more sort of colourful, brighter ones but you also get some more sort of like darker ones. They've still got a variety of colours but they're just a bit darker. But as you can see there, like look at the colours. I love this sort of like ready pinky sort of toned ones but there's just such a huge variety in there. And there is loads in there, like I'm never going to run out of foil flakes ever again because there's literally so many in there. They're so delicate and fine, they literally get everywhere, so you have to be so careful with them. But I thought a 100ml tub for £4 as well was such a good deal. Um, like they're fine to use on nails, not a problem at all. And I just, yeah, for that price and for how many you get, couldn't resist because it's literally a lifetime supply here. And like I said, you get two different types. These ones are called the gemstone ones. I can't remember what the other ones were, but... Yeah, for £4, can't go wrong. It's just such a good deal and I'm literally well meeting up with that. I'm never going to get through all them on my own, so... Yeah. And look at all the colours. I love them so much. I'm literally so happy with them. It's unreal. So yeah, that is my Hobbycraft haul. It's so like I said, I didn't buy too much, but I got a few really, really lovely bits at amazing prices. And I can't wait till lockdown's over because one of my first trips I'm going to be doing is to Hobbycraft because I've never ever ever been in one of their stores and I'm literally kicking myself for it now because I feel like I could have had some really good bargains over the last few years with all the stuff they had on the website because they had a lot on the website but a lot of it was only available in stores but obviously with lockdown I doubt it's open and I'm not going to make that sort of I'm not going to travel down there just to go to Hobbycraft but yeah, that is everything that I got to say. I'm so, so, so happy of everything and how cheap it all was and affordable. And like, even though that even though that tub was £4, 
full amount you get in there it's well worth it and that's gonna last me forever so worth getting and yeah I can't wait to use everything I can't wait to start displaying nails in my box frame that folder is gonna come in so useful for foils I think I finally, finally got the perfect solution for my foils now and yeah I'm just I love it all I'm trying to have everything organized properly and just have it all perfect just make it easier to find what I want to find and look through my bits when I'm looking for inspiration for a set of nails and yeah I'm, I'm slowly but surely getting there I might do like a little sort of organization room tour type thing at some point and show you guys how I organize all of my nail stuff and you never know you guys might get some tips and tricks I don't know but I might do that video at some point let me know if you'd like to see that video but anyhow I'm gonna stop waffling now I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah keep your eyes peeled I've got quite a few exciting videos coming this month so keep your eyes peeled for them but anyway much love everyone and I'll see you in the next video bye